Armageddon Beats Production. Hey, what it is, people? It's Geddon. Hey, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody that saw my last video. Um, I love the reviews I got. Got a lot of hits on that. It's wonderful. I also would like to give a big thank you to The Sim Standard for featuring my video in one of their videos and giving me the exposure that they did. It was awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, I love all the comments, even the bad ones. As long as it's not racist, it's all good. Anyway. So uh, what this video is going to be about, I just saw um, the Sim Standard actually release the Madden 12 trailer, right? So that's what we're going to dissect right now. We're going to start off with Andre Johnson making a good cut into the middle, and then we see uh, on the right side get tackled. Pause that. Um, right there, I guess on the right side of the A, that's uh, create a playbook, which is cool. The M, that's the best part, or starting of something good. Um, on your right side, you see Turner or whomever from the Falcons get a triple man tackle. That's awesome. One tackle right there. Boom, boom. Good tackle on the, on the left. It was a good animation. Number 24, uh, he's doing um, the same NCAA um, call out the zone type of thing and actually looks pretty good. On the top, you see a running back, um, my man from uh, Aaron Foster, right? Um, I want to say this, there's a lot of running animations in, in, in the trailer if you look really closely and they actually look like running back run animations but it looks awesome. Um, here you see the quarterback from the Bucks get sacked. You see that same dive animation that you see in, um, in an NCAA trailer, work in progress trailer. Pause it. Um, you could clearly see that's um, creative playbook right there. Okay. On the bottom you see a triple man tackle again. Um, there's the zone, Troy Palomayu and a wide receiver from the Jets, probably Cromarty. Um, right here, you see the same animation on the top right. On the left, you see another triple man tackle, um, which is good. It's definitely a, a good step in the right direction. You see the two man and the, the first guy made the initial hit a couple seconds before that. All right, now we're going to dissect the letters. Really can't see much of the letters, though. Um, the G, you just see a wide receiver running. I guess that's Andre Johnson again. But look at the A. All right, we're going to go back to that A. Not the beginning part, but the second part when the Raiders get out of here. There's a tackle right there. He falls back. But again, I'm going to emphasize the running. The running actually looks like running back running instead of just a runner. You know, it looks good. Now we're on to the M. Again, some more zone um, by Troy Palomar. I think he makes an interception right here. You know, uh, and he has a spinning tackle, whatever. I don't know. And then you see uh, on the E, you see a spin, and then he tries to juke, and then he gets hit way the hell out of bounds. Looking kind of promising. Looking kind of promising. On the P, again, running. You can see the running in this tackle. He gets tackled, gets spun around, then pulled back. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, the L, you can see created play the a you see how like i guess him breaking the tackle about to score a touchdown um again this is that cut in which looks good he really dug in when he made that cut um why really can't oh it's that dive and catch again okay the dive and catch from the ncaa series um that we saw already in the work in progress trailer that i saw today so there's my analysis um but Listen here, I'm telling you, it was the trailer is really stingy. I guess the big points you want to take away um, from the trailer, if anything, what's really new, new run animations from the running back, which looks good. And um, we just saw a three-man consecutive hit tackle. And we didn't see any long lingering, uh, uh, stumbling forward animations. So, um, but... I can't say that Madden 12 will be awesome, will be everything what we want. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, but it seems like they're really trying to do, trying to make the game better, hopefully. And I applaud EA for actually releasing a gameplay trailer a little bit before they did a presentation trailer or whatever. Matter of fact, um, they're going to be releasing uh, information on the 28th right, of this month. And the first uh, information that they're releasing is actually gameplay instead of presentation like they did with the NCAA series with their marketing. So who knows? 
I hope that is good because I really would like to play a good football game, a full NFL football game this year. But who knows if it's going to be as good as what we wanted. You know, hopefully it is. You never know. But I see a little bit more positives. I see a lot more positives than negatives in this video. All right. Peace out. This is Gaddon. Subscribe. Like it. View it. Tell your boys. Tell your peoples. <laughs> Peace out. I'm done.